Hello, Tarun. Thank you for uh, doing this project. Um, I have a um, PowerPoint, just a quick presentation here uh, that I want to show for this project. Well, um, the hardware that I'm going to send you is a Neovi Fire, a value can, and a connector board that you can connect the value can and Neovi Fire together. Um, you have to make sure that both devices have the same baud rate, 500 kilobits, and the connector board I'll also send a power supply that you'll connect to the wall socket. So the project is basically to uh, make a um, standalone script that runs inside of the Neovi Fire that will simulate an ECU uh, for OBD2. So it'll simulate an ECU's OBD2 on HS CAN, and then you'll use the value CAN with the laptop running Vehicle Spy to um, to uh, test your uh, simulator. So basically, the setup that I have. Uh, that we have as a canned already example file is this uh, J1979HS CAN3. And what this is, is this is a list of all of the uh, OBD um, messages or commands that we can send to the ECU. So for each one of these uh, commands, for example, um, collect engine coolant temp uh, request, we, sent, we I could send this command and then um, uh, your simulator then will respond to this command when this gets sent uh, with a response and um, then the this setup will show the response. If I go online without a without a uh, file here, no replay file, you can see here that I'm, I'm, I'm simulating the um, uh, this setup and if I go to graphical panels uh, it'll show some uh, it, right now there's no ECU and there's no simulator this is what I want you to write and there's no response so there's no values here so I'd like you to write some simulator where the values are actually changing and uh, you, if I go to this screen you can see that we're transmitting requests so these are the requests that are being transmitted but there's no responses because we have no um, no simulator so I need you to write a simulator that runs in standalone mode uh, with function block scripting to um, to respond to these commands inside of the fire. So you'll use this setup, this exact same setup with the value can, and then uh, you'll create a new setup, a new VS3 file that uh, will, will contain function block scripts. So for example, this is a script that you can then uh, go to Tools, Options, Core Mini Console, download into the fire, like I'm doing now, actually. Download into the fire and uh, now the fire becomes a, an example ECU or simulator for OBD2. So that's the project. You have to learn about function block scripting, about transmit messages, receive messages, what is OBD2, uh, J1979, and I'll send you some references and some uh, information. And you will need help, so um, David Crockett would be available to you. I'll be available to you. Uh, in this process, um, and that is basically the project. Hopefully you can complete it. Thank you.